Smart Trigger is now one of my new favorite overclocks for the Lock 1. What Smart Trigger does is allow the Lock 1 to automatically fire to any bug that has a lock on, and it locks on at a higher rate. The fire rate is also affected by the lock on time, but it's going to be a lot harder to apply more lock ons to a single bug, and you're going to be running through your ammo a lot more if you aren't paying attention. So I would advise taking more ammo when running this overclock. With the right build, Smart Trigger can destroy hordes of bugs with ease. You'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alrighty. So right off the bat, some things are going to be looking a little bit different. A fellow Dwarven YouTuber, Sniss, has released his mod pack for everyone to see. And one of them was this custom FOV. It can make your guns go all the way up like this and all the way over here like that. <laughs> Stupid as fuck. He best described it in his video when he was back in his TF2 days, having the gun out and about and away from the face. Just allows you to see more of your surroundings. I've been playing around with it for a few missions now and I've I've been really enjoying the fact that I can actually now use my eyesight. And another one of his mods that he graciously gave us was probably my most favorite one. What? It didn't work? What? <gasps> it did work! <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Allows you to customize your title in the hub. So now I'm a certified rock eater. Oh. There you go. As you can also see, I have my live stats just stretched out in the bottom left corner there. That was also another one of the mods that Sniss showed us as well too. I used to have a live stat on the bottom middle, but that was a different mod. This is live stats plus, which will allow me to... Oh, shut up. No. There you go. I am doing a whole lot better than what I was doing in my Hazard 5-8 video. <laughs> Some people suggested that I would I should use Spinning Death with the Microconductor add-on. And I decided, eh, instead of using it with Microconductor add-on, I'll just use it with Smart Trigger. And it was the best decision of my life. And all my ammo is gone. <laughs> That's the one thing I really dislike about lock one is just how little ammo you have. It's just so great. You know, they could have, ooh, you know, they could have given us more ammo with smart trigger and decreased the damage and we would have still probably been fine, but nope. Instead, they have just decided to make this thing chew through all your ammo. I don't have that much ammo left. I need 13 more. Oh Lord. Well, enjoy these. Oh. Die, die. <laughs> stop, stop, go away. I know you need more ammo. I'm working on it. There's a goober. The hell is that sound? There we go. I think that's the barrage infector sound that's just glitching, still playing even after it's been dealt with. I'll just, oh, good, good job, Steve. I absolutely love this FOV mod. 
Because <laughs> it, it doesn't just affect your weapons. Also affects where your hand placement is. And the bucket. <laughs> really excited. It started getting cold out. Which means that fall is just around the corner. Which also means spooky month is around the corner. I always enjoyed fall as a kid. I remember me and my friend used to ride our bikes around the neighborhood. Oh, I'll just story on pause real fast. Oh. Ooh, just did tell. Oh. oh my god. Oh, I love you, Smart Trigger. You st this one time during fall break, me and my friend, we used to ride our bikes around the neighborhood a lot. And one day we were riding, we were riding back to my house. And on the way, my friend, he found a sledgehammer on the road. We didn't know if, if it was someone else's sledgehammer or if it was just like, just left there. Either way though, my friend just decides, hey, this is my sledgehammer now. So now we're riding our bikes down, down the road and, oh god, try this. So now me and my friend are just riding our bike down the road and we come up to this park that has like this tiny, tiny swamp at the bottom of it. And my friend just gets the great idea. What happens if I throw this hammer into the swamp? So my friend just chucks the hammer into the swamp. It made a, a nice splash sound, but at the end of it, it went like, it made like a gross like, and that was around 15 years ago. Now where that park used to be with the small swamp, it's been filled in with a bunch of different houses. So I'm just wondering, which one of the unlucky workers found the sledgehammer that my friend had thrown into that swamp 15 years ago? I wish I, I would have been there to see what it looked like after 15 years of being in a swamp. That would have been a sight to see. But come on now, this is hazard 5 plus 2. Pretty sure you could do better than just swarmers. I swear, the moment I, I equipped it spinning death, it was just like, all right, it's all over. I've won the game. You little bitch. I don't think I don't see you. No! Oh <laughs> Thought I could save myself? Nope. Ow. Ah, uh, the fart gas! Ah, oh, the fart! Ah, uh, too stinky. What the fuck? I think an engineer just had a quick spasm. I hope we get more of these, like... Oh, I can't really see it. Hold on. I hope we get more of these keychain loadouts. It'll be really cool. Not just the dice, but, like, more. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, right, well, I'm gonna have to deal with this. Oh my god! <laughs> Let me see that reload again! Oh, I can't reload it. Oh, Bosco, get that guy. I gotta see this reload again. No! No, 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 no. Alright, good enough. Oh my god. Let me reload my turrets, please. What is happening? I can hear- I can hear Meatball being a little asshat. Okay. Oh my lord. Steve. Steve. This thing really does just shred through all of your ammo. I swear, they better give the base Locky more ammo. Or just like a bigger magazine size gear mod. I, I enjoy using the Locky. But I don't enjoy having, like, no ammo at all. That's why I only like using two of the overclocks now, which is Smart Trigger and the Explosive Chemical Rounds. Those are probably the only two overclocks I really enjoy using with the lock one. Besides that, the slowing one and the... The insane amount of damage, the Executioner. I enjoy using the Executioner, but only on specific missions, like Elimination or Tight Corridor missions. 
Those are, that's like really the only time I enjoy using those overclocks. You're gonna see me run Smart Trigger and Explosive Chemical Round way more often than the other ones. Ooh, spring loaded. I can make this look absolutely stupid. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. First person. The true, the true DRG experience. It's like I'm playing Doom again. There you go. Ah, perfect. <laughs> this is so stupid. I don't even know what I'm aiming at. I just gotta hope that smart shooter does the job for me. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm aiming at. Oh, there is another cave. Oh, I've been messing around this whole time. I'm gonna mainly rely on my other assets. Smart Trigger is actually carrying this mission right now. I'm surprised about it too, Mission Control. Let me know what y'all think of this new FOV change. If y'all like it, I'm gonna keep playing with it because I really like playing with my gun just like all the way down here. But I can I can just like leave it on for like streams and such like that for like casual play. No oh, ord. No. No. Oh! I hurt my booty. <laughs> it's absolutely pogging out over there. Stop him. Stop the pogger. There you go. I have found the problem. It was you. And I'm out of ammo. A classic lock one experience. You have ammo for one second, and the next you don't. Sorry, loot bugs. I need the nitra. Ow. Ow. Just let me... Pause it! There we go. Nope. Goodbye. I just finish this mission in pieces, please. There we go. Oh, thank you, Molly. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, nah, I, I'll live. There you go. Alright, now I'll live. Oh, yep. Steve's dead. Here, enjoy this, nerds. Oh, never mind. I was going the wrong way. Molly, show me the way. Don't you dare. 601 kills. Jeez. What? I'll just leave these to fight for me. I'm off. Fight the good fight, Bosco. Yeah, I know. Smart trigger is amazing. I I am so glad that they finally gave us a fully automatic firing mode for the lock one, even though it's not exactly what I was picturing. But it is just oh wow, just. Ah, that's just so good.